Hello there guys, my name is Coaster Child Donksterborn, but built for theme park news and welcome to a theme park predictions video. We released the thought part one very late last night, uh, midnight in fact, and today it's all about Alton Towers. Now big shout out goes to Kieran Glover for suggesting this video. If you want to shout out your video suggestions, put them in the comments down below. We have other shout outs to come as well. So big shout outs go to Mr. Cola Roaster. Coaster Course and Bob Has Blub. If you've seen this comment, you'll know it's Captain Smash. He's starting his own channel. Um, so please go and uh, support that. It's good to support smaller content creators and, you know, budding content creators. It's good to support these new channels because the more new channels we create, the more we can enjoy during this lockdown uh, and even past lockdown in future years. The more content, the more enjoyment we get. Uh, so make sure you go and subscribe to all of them. If you want a shout out in our next video, please don't comment down below. Don't be he don't be hesitating to comment down below. If you like this video, please give it a like. Please comment down below your thoughts and opinions. Please subscribe and click the notification bell so you never miss a YouTube video. Please share the channel with your friends, your family, and on social media. And make sure you keep getting your questions in. We've had our first question already for our next Q&A session to celebrate 2,000 subscribers. Use the hashtag question before or after your question. And for now, guys, let's get into this video. So this is a theme park prediction video all about Alton Towers. Now, Alton Towers first opened in 1980. It celebrates 40 years this year. Uh, so in order to look at the next five years, let's have a look back at the last decade of Alton Towers Resort. The last 10 years of Alton Towers Resort. So let's start off then with 2010. And 2010 was all about... 13 Secret Weapon 6, which was an Intamin family coaster, a family thrill coaster by Intamin, with a world's first element. I won't spoil it for those of you who haven't ridden it yet. Located on the former site of the corkscrew, which meant that the Ugland area, which had been operating from 1999 to 2009, was transformed into the Dark Forest. So, it, so Rita was rethemed along with it, and 13 was created. Along with that, Beastie was remained SBNO throughout 2010. 2011 and 2012 and also the Sega license ship was brought in to Sonic Spinball of course we now know it's Spinball Wizard but it is called Sonic Spinball from 2010 onwards for the next few years in 2011 we were scheduled to have a Shrek 4D cinema attraction in the old ice arena building and the whole storybook land and Old McDonald's Farmyard transformed into Far Far Away. However, at the very last second, it was cancelled. The project was cancelled in association with DreamWorks. So instead, they brought in the Go 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 show in the Cloud Cuckoo Land Theatre for just one season. And that theatre became a stalemate attraction in 2012. The Alton Towers app was also invented after years of rumours and years of people wanting an app. They finally created it uh, and it's been going strong ever since. In 2012, the Cloud Clan Theatre was transformed into Ice Age the 4D Experience. So the old 4D cinema plans with the Shrek theme were transformed into an Ice Age theme and they were brought into Cloud Cookie Land. And as well as that, the former Dynamo site, which was like a bre Hus breakdance attraction, that was replaced with a Lava Lump, which was the old rock climbing wall from Ugland that was relocated there uh, when Dark Forest came in in 2010. That whole site was removed and replaced with a new indoor dark ride attraction called Nemesis of Terror, Your Worst Nightmare Underground. Those both opened in 2012 as well as the, um, the main season of construction beginning for Secret Weapon 7 on the former site of the Black Hole Coaster that was removed in 2005. It closed in 2005. The coaster track was removed in 2006 and the dome sat unattended for for the next few years before it was permanent closure. Now the black hole was removed and replaced in 2013 with Secret Weapon 7 and that became the Smiler. Now the Smiler is the world's first 14 looper roller coaster, the world's first coaster to have 14 inversions. And at the start of the 2013 season, Submission was closed and dismantled and it became the Submission Memorial Garden. Now um, in 2014, so in 2014, we had uh, Submission Memorial Garden set up and things like that. And of course, Old McDonald's Farmyard, that was created. Um, 
and that was created in two, CBeebies Land. So CBeebies Land, the BBC were brought in with the licensed ship and CBeebies Land was created in the Old McDonald's farmyard and Storybook Land area. So the bookworm was taken out uh, and the whole Storybook Land and Old McDonald's farmyard matched together to create CBeebies Land where the, the favourite characters from the TV channel uh, was brought to life in this brand new area. So in 2015, they expanded that with the Octonauts Roller Coaster Adventure, which was a Zamperla family gravity coaster on the former site of the Beastie Coaster. And of course, uh, before then, we had the Space Adventures Playground, didn't we? Uh, for any of you who remember that, I remember that when I was a kid. I remember the old Space Adventures play Playground in Adventureland. Uh, so as well as the Octonauts Coaster, we also had the Enchanted Village, which was a brand new hotel accommodation. It was a village uh, lodge resort. Uh, which looked absolutely fantastic, by the way. Looked brilliant. Um, and you also had the closure of the Flume for a new project. Ripsaw, Charlie, Wobble World, and Nemesis Subterra were all closed. In 2016, Ice Age 4D and Twill in Toadstool permanently closed, while Hex was closed for a season-long refurbishment. They also brought in uh, the... Uh, well, they actually took out the Sonic Spinball license ship and brought it back to Spinball Wizard. But the main change for 2016 is Galactica and the roller coaster restaurant. Now, Galactica is a space sci fi futuristic theme of air, which was their 2002 Bologger and Mabillard flying coaster. If you want to research BM flying coaster, look on it on the internet and you'll know what it is. It's basically. Uh, what makes it different is with this coaster, you get your restraints on and what they do is before you set off, they tilt the car up so it looks like you're flying. So it's a very clever way of doing it in the time. And of course to make it that much better, they brought in this uh, Galactica theme. They replaced the old air shop, they closed off the balcony section, they replaced the air shop with the roller coaster restaurant which was like food loop at your part where you order your food and it gets travelled down on coaster track. Uh, very very safely so it doesn't all splash out all over the place um, so it's again a very clever way of doing it uh, now in 2017 they brought in two new rides in the CBeebies land section of the park they brought in the Go Jetters Vroomster Zoomster ride and the first Chester Hotel live show so Go Jetters Vroomster Zoom ride uh, which was a spinning carousel type ride if you think of like a flying camels or a flying jumbos type ride at Chessington that kind of thing. It's that kind of flying family ride. And of course, as well as that, the Furchester Hotel live show experience. Now, as well as that, work was well underway on the Flume site for Secret Weapon 8. And in 2018, along with uh, the closure, the last season of Nina's Science Lab at CBeebies Land, and I'll get onto that in my future predictions, it was, they introduced Wicker Man, which was Secret Weapon 8. That is the GCI Great Coast International Wooden Roller Coaster in the former side of the Flume. Now, in 2019, they introduced the Stargazing Pods into the Enchanted Village. They also introduced Peter Rabbit Hibbity Hop, which was two new family drop towers in CBeebies Land. And in the Charlie site, the Charlie and the Tucker Factory site, they brought in the Alton Towers Dungeon. So, you look at the Midway Dungeon attractions in London. York, other countries and places like that around the around Europe and around the world as well. They've got one in San Francisco, I believe. Uh, these dungeon attractions, and they brought one into Alton Towers for 2019, and it's still going strong to this day. Still a good attraction. And of course, in 2020, we we're scheduled to have the World of David Walliams, which was the brand new refurbishment of Cloud Cookie Land to fit the brand new Gangster Granny the Ride, manufactured by Garmendale, a brand new dark ride replacing Wobble War, which also closed in 2015 for the TLC, the Towers Living Care program, which lasted about three years. Um, so, you know, this brand new dark ride came in, manufactured by Garmin Dale. Still yet to open, of course, due to the current crisis. However, I'm going to get onto that in my predictions. So that, my friends, is the last 10 years of Alton Towers Resort to start off this prediction video. Now, looking back on those last 10 years, this last decade, uh, we've got two, uh, well, three, technically, new roller coasters. Um... We've got a couple of family rides, a dark ride, uh, some refurbishments, some closures, hotel accommodation. So we've got a mix. We've got a mixed range of stuff here, and I think that sort of ties in with my five-year predictions that I'm going to share with you in a little bit. 
it's going to be a mixed range of stuff. It's not going to be th just thrill rides and coasters. It's, it could be family rides, hotel, accommodation, resort expansions or accommodation openings. It could literally be anything. So, um, and I think that's the main thing to take from these five-year predictions. The fact that the last ten years have been a mixed range of things, from family rides to thrill rides to coasters to hotels and accommodation expansions. I do believe that uh, we could be some looking at something very, very exciting here. So that was the last 10 years at Alton Towers. Now let's jump into the future and let's have a look at my predictions for my first predictions for the next five years at the Alton Towers Resort. Again, a big shout out to Kieran Glover for suggesting this video. Here are the predictions coming your way. So let's start off with 2021. And 2021, in my opinion, is a very, very, very easy one. I believe that they're going to relaunch the world of David Williams and Gangster Granny the Ride. So the whole area that was scheduled to open in 2020, I think, will be relaunched. It will not open in 2020. It doesn't matter if Alton Towers reopen for Scarefest and Christmas and New Year and things like that. They're not going to do that. They're not going to open this new area in 2020. They're going to open it in 2021. They're going to relaunch it in 2021. And that will be the story. Now, as well as that, I believe they're going to extend their 40th anniversary birthdays into 2021 to make up for missed time. Uh, obviously, with the right measures in place, they're going to put on these events like the Alton Towers Oktoberfest they had planned. Um, all the spring and summer and half-term events they were going to do with Gangster Granny theme. And there was like a, May, there was like a Gangster Granny half-term in May or something planned from what I saw from an events list. Um, so I know they had a lot of stuff planned in terms of events uh, to celebrate 40 years, including the half-term stuff, the summer, spring, um, obviously Scarefest as usual every year, um, and of course the Oktoberfest celebration, which would have been a lovely vlog. I would have loved to get down there and experience Oktoberfest. I don't think that's going to go ahead this year. I think wait till next year or maybe wait till a future year when things have calmed down and measures have started to be reduced. Obviously, it's the new normal now, but, you know, when things start getting back to normal again, I think that's when they can start reintroducing the Oktoberfest event. So, I think that's going to be the case in 2021. Relaunch the new area, relaunch the 40th anniversary celebration birthdays with measures in place, uh, and just relaunch the 2020 season in style, really. Moving in then to 2022 slash slash 2023. Now, I've put 2022 and 2023 together because I think it could ha could happen over these next two years. Now, I believe we're going to see a phase two of Williams World and a brand new ride in CBeebies Land. Now, you'll see the circled sites. It's the theatre in Cloud Cuckoo Land, the old Cloud Cuckoo Land, and of course the Cuckoo Cars Driving School. Now, I believe that will be involved in a Phase 2 of Williams World. I think those are the two new attractions they're going to focus on for a Phase 2. If they are going to do a Phase 3, I think the dungeons will go, but I don't think that will be in these next five years, so don't worry. Uh, dungeon fans, you will get your dungeons for at least these next few years. Um, but I do believe that the Cuckoo Cars and the Theatre site are two potential sites for development. Now, these are two attractions aren't involved in the new area. The Driving School... Looks like it's going to be part of its own separate area, uh, which personally, I like that they're keeping the driving school alive because they've recently refurbished it over the last couple of years, but I really think that they should include it in Williams World just to make it not stand out like a sore thumb. So I do believe that they're going to retheme that, maybe retheme it to Mr. Stink, uh, which is one of the Williams books. Maybe bring, I can't remember the name of it, but I know they've released an, a more recent new book from David Williams. So maybe incorporate that story into the driving school, maybe incorporate it into the theatre building. Now the theatre building is an interesting story because I do believe that they could introduce a live show, go for a 4D experience... Or, and this is just a suggestion, maybe another brand new dart ride. Now, again, this is why I'm stretching it between 2022 and 2023. I personally believe that they could introduce a flying theatre attraction based upon one of their books. Now, if done right, it could be one of the most magical family attractions ever done. And depending on the ride system as well, because certain flying theatre attraction ride systems work better than others. Even though they may look the same or they may operate the same. Some work better than others, in my opinion. And the right system, I'm not, I'm not gonna, you know, drop any names or anything like that, but I think the right system in the right way and done the right way, I think they could create a magical flying theatre attraction in that building. 
If not, it could just be something as simple as a live show. Now, I mentioned a new ride in CBeebies Land as well. Now, I mentioned Nina's Science Lab. Now, that was closed. That's been closed since 2018, end of 2018. And I do believe they need to put a brand new attraction in there. I mean, I did say in the Scarefest predictions video for this year, I did want to see some kind of family maze thing to see BBs to sort of fill the void that, um, you know, House of Monsters left when, when that left for the Gangster Granny ride. Uh, even though Darkest Depths is the family maze, I consider that more of a family thrill maze. So I think just a family, pure family based maze with a little jump scare here and there and just family puzzles. Uh, I think that would be the case in Sea Beavers Land. But I think if not, I would like to see a new attraction, like a sensory experience. Maybe go along the Thought Park route and do like an escape room attraction, but themed to families. And I think that would be a really cool attraction, you know, a family escape room theme to CBeebies, theme to one of the CBB shows, Don't doesn't matter which one, a family escape room. I think that would be a nice, you know, attraction. Maybe it could be an overall CBeebies theme. Maybe it's the theme of you've got, you've been, you're trapped in the telly and you need to get out by solving the puzzles in each of these CBB shows. So maybe there's a Mike the Knight puzzle. Maybe there's a Charlie and Lola puzzle. Maybe there's a Peter Rabbit puzzle. You know, certain shows in other attractions and attractions that aren't in the park and certain themes that aren't in the park yet. You know, and it could be something, something as simple as five or six or maybe even seven, coming up to ten uh, different puzzles to um, just to create this family escape room, CBB's family escape room. So I think something as simple as that would work very, very well at that site and it would use the space efficiently. Moving in then to 2024, now during, now during... 2022 and 2023 i think we're going to see preparation work and that preparation 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 work <laughs> uh would be for a brand new roller coaster secret weapon now now you're probably thinking on your screen right now hang on a minute that's ripsaw blade subterra and the edge and the nemesis gun circled why aren't you circled rita why haven't you circled the Galactica car park? I'll get onto the Galactica car park in a little bit because I've got a little bit of a theory uh, that I want to discuss with you about that. But I've circled Ripsaw, Nemesis, the Blade, uh, well, Subterra, not Nemesis, of course, you know, long live the king. <laughs> but Ripsaw, Subterra, Blade, and the Edge. The Nemesis gun may not be incorporated, the supports can be just worked around it. But I reckon you could do either a multi launch or a compact coaster in that spot now it could be intamin it could be sns it could be one of those compact gerslar triple launches like uh gold rush at slagharan uh, or something like a gerslar version of gale force at playland's castaway cove uh, but something more extended uh so i definitely think there's real potential here to do a nice outstretched layout just in and out of that layout so maybe have the station building in the blade pit incorporate the queue line of the blade and the old ripsaw queue line and build like the bridge again uh, and do a nice queue line through there uh, and i tell you what maybe Alton Towers could go for the world's first axis coaster you never never know an axis coaster with a launch would work very very well in that spot and it would be a representation of the future maybe since it's sort of you know near near to nemesis it's like next to nemesis maybe you could do a potential theme around uh, a piece of shrapnel flying through the wind battling against the nemesis so it's a piece of shrapnel that's been that's come into contact with chemical energy and it's metamorphosized and it's like a, a new beast or something like a new beast made by shrapnel to fight off against the nemesis maybe the military uh, you know um sort of pin it down with steel kind of like the nemesis thing but instead of pinning it down for show maybe the strap this piece of metamorphosized shrapnel gets pinned down by steel um and used guarded down as a military weapon to battle the nemesis and again hence the supports around the nemesis gun so there's just a little theory there just a little bit of a theory again they could use a different theme they could go with the dark apocalypse theme if you didn't know already uh dark apocalypse is an old scare zone that operated for a couple of years around the old subterra site uh around there with the the phalanx and again that could be a potential theme they could go for um and that potential theme of the phalanx and the fact that this axis coaster could be a military weapon and the phalanx are controlling it and operating it to battle against the nemesis and the whole coaster journey is themed around 
uh, going past the nemesis and battling it. Uh, and there's some really good opportunity for elements on this ride. You can do a nice zero G stall over the nemesis gun, uh, work its way back round. You could do some really cool stuff with that. Obviously, in the process, you would lose uh, the Edge Arcade, which I'm sure you could put somewhere else in the park. Uh, the Dark Forest Arcade's been uh, closed off recently, so in the last couple of years. So I wonder, uh, last year or so. So I wonder why. I wonder if they're going to reopen that if they refurbish it to make up for the Edge being removed. Uh, obviously, Subterra now is Project 42 at Scarefest. So again, you'd have to fill that void of bringing in a new Scare Maze. Uh, and I'm sure some species by this time will have been replaced. So I think a new scare maze to fill the void left by Project 42 in the lineup somewhere else in the park would be a pretty good fit. Uh, so just a little theory there as to what could happen. I'm thinking an Axis coaster in that spot. And I could also see on your screen at the bottom, new plans released for 2026-2027 Hotel. And this leads me on to... 2025 where I could see a new thrill ride as well as work beginning on a brand new hotel now first of all I'm going to speak about the thrill ride don't focus on the glass car park for now because I'm going to get onto my theory in a little bit but focus on this thrill ride section what you're seeing circled in X sector next to enterprise is the old submission site it's known as the submission memorial garden now and you can also sm see Smee <laughs> Mr. Smee from, pa from Peter Pan uh, <laughs> you can also see the Smiler game circled as well. I personally believe they could go with a Zamperla Hawk, so something like Lumberjack at Canada's Wonderland. I keep making that reference when predicting new Zamperla Hawks. Uh, so a Zamperla Hawk, like Lumberjack at Canada's Wonderland, uh, would work at that site, or a different type of flat ride. Uh, maybe they could go with something... Uh, just something very compact, just something quite compact. Maybe if they could do, if they wanted to, uh, they could go with something like Soaring Timbers at Canada's Wonderland. So it's that kind of Mondial Inferno type ride uh, and theme it around another military uh, sort of project as part of the X Sector or theme it around the Ministry of Joy. Um, and have a ride called the Marmalizer. So the Mondial Inferno, if you haven't seen it, if you were. Watch some clips online of Soaring Timbers at Canada's Wonderland and you'll know what I mean. It's like this spinning car and it sort of spins one way while the arm spins it around a different way. Uh, so I think that would be a really cool fit uh, for that area with the space. Uh, obviously nowhere close to oblivion, otherwise it's going to crash into it when it turns back around. But I think sort of place it uh, in the middle, uh, in the middle of that site, uh, so it could... Uh, come near to where Enterprise sort of gets off on the vertical uh, and it wouldn't come into contact with Oblivion behind it at all so either a Zamperla Hawk or a Mondal Inferno would be good for that site. Now let's draw your attention to why I've circled the Glatzka car park as a brand new hotel space. Now obviously I said earlier the roller coaster restaurant was introduced that's like year round so uh, you can eat in there after park hours you can use a separate entrance at the back now, I've got a theory here, and you can keep the path in around it, so you can walk around it and then go through past Galactica to the roller coaster restaurant. But, I personally believe that that site could be perfect for a space-themed hotel. Maybe the, Al the Alton Towers Cosmos Resort. Uh, so, some kind of futuristic hotel resort. So, you can incorporate technology, you can incorporate... Uh, pro projections and programs uh, so like for example with the family rooms and the kids rooms themed to like outer space and things like that you could like for five minutes uh, at a certain time of the day or at night uh, you get the wind the projections shut the windows down and you get these like star projections on the wall so it looks like you're looking at the night sky just something magical like that just to bring that space element into it and also with the scar stargazing stargazing what am i saying today the stargazing parts in the enchanted village again that would be a really nice opportunity to expand on that stargazing theme and the glatzka theme merge them together and create this brand new hotel in the glatzka car park now again i involve the roller coaster restaurant because what you can do what you can do is have the path that goes round the hotel uh, in the same way and then you can also have an exit path from the end of the hotel go in the same way so you can either go round the hotel or you can use the exit out of the cosmos hotel through to uh, the roller coaster restaurant so there's so there's now another 
entrance path into the roller coaster restaurant area. So I think that a space themed hotel would work very, very well. So I think with that hotel project going off, you'd want like a family ride in the park just to sort of uh, incorporate the park into that year of investment. Uh, so the year, so the investment years will be back to normal by then. Uh, but I do believe that a a Galactica sci-fi themed hotel. Um, as, and as well as like a family thrill ride in X Sector to incorporate the dry park, uh, would be an overall grand investment in 2020. Um, well, work for 2026, 2026, work for 2026, 2027 on the hotel, and have a flat ride in 2025 in X Sector. To sort of obviously with the rip saw and the blade sights being used, you need a new flat ride to bring a sense of new investment into that category of ride. On the, obviously with you know Enterprise being the only one technically. Uh, obviously, you've got the Mutiny Bay rides. They're technically family rides. Uh, so the only thrill ride, technically, would be Enterprise. So, you know, something like a new flat ride next set to incorporate in t next to Enterprise in that old site of the submission site and the Smiler Games site would be a good way to incorporate the flat ride category again. It would be the first uh, sort of new flat ride um, for a long time. I, I don't think they've ever added a new flat ride, a new thrill ride from scratch. Uh, for a long, long time. You're probably going back to the days of uh, the likes of Submission and Bone Shaker when that was removed and things like that. So um, you got to th you got to think back to a lot of, a lot of years before the last flat ride. So I think that a nice flat ride would incorporate that category of ride into the park again. And again, while that's been added to the park for 2025, work can begin for 2026 or 2027 on a Galactica themed hotel, uh, and it would be a brand new hotel accommodation to the resort as well. So there we go, so that is my next five years predictions at Alton Towers. So in those predictions, you've got a secret weapon coaster, you've got a couple of family rides, you've got a relaunch of a new area that's scheduled to open this year, but of course, due to the current climate, it won't be the case. Uh, and you've got a brand new hotel accommodation as well, So and a thrill ride. So, you know, again, like I said before, with the last 10 years pattern, it was a real balance. It was a range of things from family rides to thrill rides to coasters to hotels and hotel expansions. So, you know, I wanted to sort of continue that range and have a couple of family rides, a uh, new area with the new dark ride, because uh, that was introduced in the last decade as well, the dark rides, uh, a new coaster, uh, the family rides, the dark ride, uh, the new area, uh, hotel, some kind of hotel development or accommodation resort. Uh, and of course a thrill ride in there as well so you know it's very very simple these predictions and again it follows that pattern of there's a real range of things for this for this next five years in my opinion obviously predictions can change and plans can change but that is just what i'm thinking i'm thinking that 2024 will be the year of secret weapon 9 like i said in my thought part prediction i'm thinking you know they're going to invest in their coast of the year afterwards so i think it'll be alton towers year in 2024 and then thought park gets their year in 2025 uh, with their new coaster in my opinion so I spoke in that video about how Alton Towers will invest in Secret Weapon 9 before Thought Park's next coaster but only by a year uh, so again I follow that prediction and I continue with that prediction in my opinion uh, and sort of before and after that you know you've got a, like I said you've got a good mix of things before and after Secret Weapon 9 uh, you've got the mix of family rides, a thrill ride and of course hotel accommodation and I think that that hotel in Glatzka's car park would work very well because you've got the path around it that leads into the roller coaster restaurant. You've got the other path that goes away from the roller coaster restaurant area and sort of continues on to the entrance of the park. But if you put a hotel in that old car park, when you build the new car park or put the permanent material in for the temporary car park, uh, you've then got a nice site there where you can work with a new hotel, a new technological based hotel. Um, and you can do the path around to get into the roller coaster restaurant, and you can give the roller coaster restaurant a second entrance from the hotel. So I think you've got a real opportunity here to invest in brand new accommodation. And to be perfectly honest, that was like the most realistic site for brand new accommodation, in my opinion. Um, if they're going to build another new one, uh, because there was no real other site, unless they've got some expansion room planned uh, for the park and sort of expanding more area then, you know, the Glatzka car park is realistically the next site for accommodation, in my opinion. Uh, so, And, of course, like I said, work for that would begin around about 2025, ready for... Or 2024, 2025, ready for a 2026, 27 opening. So that will be in the, in the next five years after these next five years. So, you know, I think that's when the hotel will open. So I think when it gets around to 2025, 
I may do a video, same with the other parks, uh, of my next five predictions after that. So look back on these last five years of the decade and then go into the next five years uh, of the of the of the decade that we've, we've got left, really. So um, so you can look back on that and think, well, have I got these predictions right? So I want to uh, thank you guys for watching this video on the Alton Towers next five years predictions. I've got loads of people suggesting videos from Fancy Island, Polton's Park, Drake Manor. I'll get the research done. I've got I've got one more one more uni deadline to go in four days. One more deadline, and then I am all yours, guys. I am all yours. So I think for prediction videos, I'm going to do the research on it, obviously. Uh, but they're going to come in the next few days, not tomorrow or anything like that. But they're going to come in the next few days, just because I want to take the video uh, uploading uh, easy uh, and just stick to like the reviews of rides and uh, anything part news updates that comes out now. So, the prediction videos are going to hold off for just a few more days, and then I'm going to come back after that last deadline. I'm all yours, guys, uh, with Polton's Park, Drayton Manor, F uh, Fantasy Island. You know, we've already done Flamingo Land, Blackpool, Thorpe, and now Alton in this video. Uh, so, we've done a lot of prediction videos already. And again, if you guys got any suggestions about prediction videos, any European parks you want me to do, then please comment them down below. Uh, I can do European parks. I can absolutely do European parks, around the world parks, Asia parks, US parks, any parks. Comment them down below. As long as they're not, as long as they're not, Six Flags or Cedar Fair. Because I may do separate videos on them anyway. Uh, so if you've got any uh, specific parks that you want me to do, please comment them down below. Like I said before in the past, I'm starting a brand new series called uh, Fact Files. Uh, so any rides or theme parks that I have not yet done, I'm going to do Fact File series on them to get me ready for uh, my trip. And of course, any tips uh, on visiting these parks that I have not yet done, that I find out, I'll be able to deliver them to you guys. Because that is the whole premise of this channel. It's not just news, reviews and predictions. It's about giving you guys helpful tips as to what to do when visiting these parks so uh, if you've got any tips send them in i may do a tip video for when you visit the theme parks when they reopen uh, i did do a top five tips video already for things to do theme parky wise during lockdown so i hope you really enjoyed that video please go and check it out if you haven't already and for now guys please like comment subscribe i'll see you guys tomorrow for more videos keep getting your shout outs in keep getting your questions for our next q a video and for now guys my name is coach Charlie youtube channel Keep living the coastal life, and I'll see you guys in the next video very, very soon. Take care, guys, and I'll see you